With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Today our question is, the midpoints of the sides BC, CA and AB of a triangle ABC are 2, 1, minus 5, 7 and minus 5, 5 effectively. Then find the equations of the sides of triangle ABC. That means we have given here a triangle, let's say this is a triangle and the vertices are midpoints, coordinates of midpoints are D, this is your D, 2, 1, E is uh, minus 5 comma 7, let's say this is your E, right, minus 5 comma 7 and f is given to be minus 5 comma minus 5 so we have to find out these vertices first right let's say this is your a b c now suppose the coordinates of a are x1 y1 for b it is x2 y2 okay let's suppose that these are m comma n this is o p o p for better understanding and this is q comma R. So we know if 2, 1 are the inter midpoints of these line A, B, we can say from A, B, we can write M plus O by 2 is equal to 2 and for Y axis it will be N plus P upon 2 is equal to 1. N plus P upon 2 is equal to 1. Right? Now we will find out the points from BC. So, from BC it will be O plus Q by 2 is equals to minus 5 and P plus R by 2 is equals to 7 by using midpoint formula. And for from AC, AC point we will have M plus Q and N plus R. So, M plus Q by 2 N plus r by 2 so these points are minus 5 and minus 5 minus 5 and minus 5 now we will solve our first three relations so let's take the first relation m plus o is equal to 2 into 2 is 4 and this one so from here we can write down that m plus o is equal to 4 and m plus q is equal to minus 10 right if we can subtract these two equations then we will see that our m will be eliminated and we will left with o minus q is equals to 14 right this is a relation in o and q right and on the other side we have another relation in terms of o and q also so o plus q from here is minus 10 o plus q is given to be minus 10 so if we can add these two equations then we will see o plus o is 2o adding the two equations then o plus o is 2o minus q plus q is 0 14 minus 10 will be equals to minus uh, 14 plus 10 will be 4 right so o will become 2 now the value of o is 2 then m's value will become m will be equals to 2 and if m is equals to 2 then putting the value of m into this equation m plus q is equals to minus 10 we will get 2 plus q is equals to minus 10 that is q will be equals to minus 12 right now we have got our x coordinates for all the three vertices similarly we will find out our y coordinates for the y axis right now we will use these three equations n plus p by 2 is equals to 1 p plus r by 2 is equals to 7 and n plus r by 2 is equals to minus 5 so we will take first and last relation first so n plus p will be equals to 2 and n plus r will be equals to minus 10 so we will write here n plus p is equals to n plus r is equals to minus 10 using the third relation and uh, subtracting them will give us p minus r is equals to 2 plus 10 is 12 p minus r is 12 and from here we can see that p plus r is 14 right p plus r is 14 now if we add these two equations right if we add these two equations we can see r will be cancelled out and we will left with is equals to 
26 right that means p will become 13 if p is 13 then n will become n plus 13 is equals to 2 and from here n will become 2 minus 13 that is minus 11 right and n plus r so r will become minus 10 minus n minus 10 minus n and n is minus 11 so minus 10 plus 11 will make it 1 so we can say that n is equals to minus 11 and r is equals to 1 now we will write all the coordinates with the vertices m is uh, 2 and n is minus 11 so we will write here 2 comma minus 11 o is also 2 p is 13 and uh, q is minus 12 and r is 1 q is minus 12 and r is 1 so we can see that every coordinate is following the midpoint theorem that means if we add 2 plus 2 upon 2 then we can see it will become 2 right and 13 plus minus minus 13 minus 11 is 2 2 upon 2 is 1 so this is uh, correct these are the correct coordinates and for here also we will have 2 plus minus 12 that is minus 10 by 2 is minus 5 minus 11 plus 1 it is minus 10 upon 2 is minus 5 so that means all the coordinates are correct now we will find out the equation of the line a b right line a b so a has coordinates m n that means 2 and n was minus 11 b has coordinates o p minus 2 minus 11 so 2 minus 11 and 2 13 2 13 so we will use 2 point fo form using 2 point form we will get we have the formula as y minus y1 is equals to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 right so this will give us y minus this is let's say this is your x1 y1 x2 and y2 so y minus y1 that is y minus plus 11 y2 minus y1 that means 13 minus minus 11 so 13 plus 11 upon 2 minus 2 right into x minus x1 right so we can see here that this will become 0 cross multiplying each other will give us 13 plus 11 is 24 so this will become 24x minus 58 is equals to 0 and 24x will become equals to 58 and so x will become equals to 2 can write here the equation of a b line is x is equals to 2 right now you'll find the equation of line b c right so for b c we have the points of b as 2 13 and minus 12 comma 1 so 2 13 and minus 12 comma 1 right so now we will have equation as using two point form we will have y minus y1 so y minus y1 is 13 is equals to x minus x1 x x1 is 2 y2 minus y1 is 1 minus 13 upon minus 12 minus 2 this will gives you minus 12 upon minus 14 x minus 2 y minus 13 right this will gives you 6 upon 7 7 y minus 7 3 is a 21 7 minus 7 8 9 is equal to 6 x minus 12 this will become 6 x minus 7 y minus 12 plus 91 from here we will get 6 x minus 7 y minus 12 plus 91 will make it negative so 90 minus 12 is 78 80 90 so it will become 79 so plus 79 right so that is what our equation for line is equals to 0 so that is what our equation for line BC 6x minus 7y plus 79 6x minus 7y so this is a equation this is also a equation now we will check for line ac also so a is 2 minus 11 c is minus 12 1 so we will write here 2 minus 11 minus 12 comma 1 this is for c this is for a now we'll find the equation of ac also so y minus y1 minus 11 this will become plus 11 so x minus 2 
x1 then y2 minus y1 will make it 1 plus 11 upon minus 12 minus 2 this will become y plus 11 is equals to 12 upon minus 14 x minus 2 this will become 6 upon minus 7 so minus 7 y minus 77 will be equals to 6 x minus 12 Shifting all the terms to the right hand side will give us 6x plus 7y minus 12 plus 77 and this will give you 6x plus 7y plus 65 is equal to 0. So that is our equation for line AC. So we can see that uh, this is also our equation. So we can say that the final answer is option 4. That means all of these equations are for the sides of the triangle. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.